What did school teach me? To be as average as possible. I learned that if you just don't engage, and you're not bothered, and you're not interested, you don't do well, you're perceived as a loser, and you're looked down upon. So you think, all right, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat everybody at everything. And you start pushing like crazy, and you start winning at everything. And then everybody hates you, because you beat them at absolutely everything. So, how can you win? You can't. I spent eight and a half years in China teaching English to students of all different ages. I came to see a lot of differences between East and West and their approach to schooling in general. In China, students have a, a really heavy schedule. In general, they do way more study than they do over in England and the West in general. Students have very, very long days at school usually starting eight o'clock in the morning and ending six o'clock in the evening. And then certainly students over the age of 10 spend many hours every night doing huge amounts of homework. They get so much homework that it often takes them until after midnight to finish it. So many students are turning up to class exhausted, tired because they've been studying so much. They're under tremendous pressure. The school system really does make their life miserable. And you can basically tell the age of children just by looking into their eyes. The light just goes out of their eyes and it appears like the school system, the education system, is just breaking spirits. When I was a child, school was much strict, stricter than it is now, but it's, it was still very light compared to how it is in China. But just to bang the drum a minute for school itself, school, in my opinion, is a privilege. In many parts of the world where people don't have schools, students or the children are only limited by what their parents can teach them. Their lives end up very, very narrow, very, very limited. So the, the idea of school itself, it gives them a window on the world, introduces them to many, many subjects, and allows them to interact with different kinds of people that were, that, you know, ordinarily if you were just stuck in one profession, types of people you'd never meet. School is a big mixed bag. So it gives you a huge sampling. It's not always very comfortable because you might be with types that have no relevance to you as a personality whatsoever. But it is a great introduction. It's a good way to start life for children. School is basically their first huge window on the world. So this is the good thing about school. And the principle is, is fine, this idea when you're a primary school student, you try many, many different subjects. There's a lot of variety. It's very stimulating. And then when you get into adolescence, you choose options for the subjects that appeal to you most. And as you go up through further education, you focus, you choose a major. That's pretty much how it works. It's mainly the system, not the principle. The principle of school, I think, is very, very good. The system does need to change and encourage people to be more free-thinking, more individualistic, more expressive. And here's the big one, less competitive. This, to me, is where schooling goes wrong. It only really serves, as a system, I mean, <clears throat> the winners, yeah, because it's a com competition-based system. It just so happens that some students will be really good at the subject, they'll have a lot of interest for the subject presented, some are naturally better at learning. Um, and actually the funny thing is, the ones who are good at learning will learn anyway. It's, uh, they're, not, they're not so dependent on the school system. And the ones who, for whom school is not a good thing, or they feel it's not a good thing, it feels like a prison. But I do think the main problem with school is the rigid syllabus idea and above all competition oh yes there's always going to be winners and losers the whole society is still too much competition based instead of promotion of the individual if children were taught more about what they want to do and very very importantly what they want to contribute to the world if they feel school is just a competition and the subjects that are presented to them are of not in no particular interest it never really taps into their true abilities they're made to feel like losers the vast majority go up through the school system just feeling either average or like a loser because they've lost. Because really, when you look at a competition, there are very, very few winners. You take a singing competition, hundreds of thousands will go in through the TV singing competitions and you'll only get one winner at the top. And even then it's questionable whether they'll have a career. And it's the same with the education system, with the school system. Only very, very few come out the other end, come out the far end of it, feeling like winners. Most are led to feel or believe they are underachievers. And it's because of this competitive mindset. Now I know why the competition is there. The idea is to motivate, because nobody wants to feel like they're a loser. So they're put under pressure. But <laughs> this is a massive waste of resources, in my opinion. Some people are naturally geared to, cut, to compete. 
whatever subject they're in, they will want to compete, they'll want to win, they'll want to be the best. But a lot go along with competition as, because it's a kind of peer pressure. They don't want to appear like they're losers. It is a kind of motivator, but I don't think it's a good motivator. I think this is a fundamental issue, this whole idea of motivation, because there's huge movements now and you, on the internet all about inspiration and motivation. And there's clearly a lot of, a lot of the opposite in the world right now. So many people are looking for motivation. Why can't they motivate themselves? Why don't they know their passion? Why they don't they know? It was all smashed out of them very, very early on in life. Now, I'm not blaming the school system, but I don't think the school system has helped by putting so much focus on competition. I personally have a big problem with competition anyway, because it feels to me like a no-win situation. What did school teach me, basically, in this, uh, to be as average as possible? I learned that if you just don't engage, and you're not bothered, and you're not interested, you don't do well, so you're perceived as a loser, and you're looked down upon. So you think, all right, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat everybody at everything. And you start pushing like crazy, because that's kind of was my approach, and you start winning at everything. And then everybody hates you because you beat them at absolutely everything. So how can, how can you win? How can you win? You can't. Winners are gonna be hated and losers are gonna be, it's like the John, Le there's a John Lennon song where he had these, um, had the lyrics, pardon me if I get them wrong, but he said, they hit you at home and they hurt you at school. They hate you if you're clever and they despise a fool. And this is so true. Obviously, you shouldn't be too worried about what others think, but we do have to fit in with the society. The school system encourages certain types of academics, but overall, mediocrity. Because students will work just hard enough not to appear like a thicko, not to appear like a loser, but they don't want to stand out and be winners either because it will make them unpopular. Because it's not really what they want anyway. They're only doing it because of the whip of competition. And that, to me, is where schools need to reform. They need to be looking much more at what the individual is inspired to do. Because the individual, when following an inspiration, it's a positive motivation instead of competition, which I think is a very, a very, very negative one. Now see, this is why you get sometimes obnoxious winners. Winners who are arrogant and it makes them easy to win. It's easy for those guys to win because they hate other people. They don't care about what other people think because they don't like them. Winning for them is easy. Both most of us are pretty sociable people. We like each other and we don't want to be looked, looked down upon and we don't want to alienate others by winning. So what's the answer? To be as average as possible. And to me, that's the main issue with school. It's promoting and pushing and producing mediocrity. And I think we can do better. I think if we always look to do what's best in the individual and promote that and allow them to individuals to shine through standing out and doing better in their fields will produce more winners will produce more leaders this is very very important and i think we'll have better results at the end of the system that's my opinion on school hi everyone my name is neil carpenter i am the computer games developer who made lord temin's fortress you can see the description below if you like this video please subscribe or like thank you have a great day